Let me tell you about Final Fantasy VII. It's a game that sends me spiralling into heaven. The protagonist, Cloud, is a bit of an emo. Tries his hand in some games, at Gold Saucer Casino. The main villain is one whom we call Sephiroth. And to go with Cloud's emo, he's a bit of a goth. A murderous goth who kills our friend Eris. She's the last ancient, it's an important premise. There's a big corporation, and they run our home, Midgar. Led by this sleazy guy. This is Rufus Shinra. They've got terrible plans to take over the world. Sephi summons a meteor, their plans are unfurled. So our brave hero Cloud and his tag-along crew try to stop not just one evil entity, but two. But of course, not all can be as it first seemed. And we find out when Cloud takes a trip to the live stream that he might not be Cloud, but instead he is Zack. They're basically the same, but Big Zed's hair is black. It turns out that Cloud has delusions of grandeur. We find out in Cam he's one hell of a raconteur. We flash back to when Sephiroth goes insane and reanimates his mother, which is pretty profane. It happens to be that he has ancient blood, and his magical powers make him quite the stud. He's fully intent on the planet's destruction. The meteor is his grand finale production. The planet's reply is to create a weapon, a powerful being to stop Armageddon. But the Shinra destroy it with a humongous gun, but also kill Rufus, their president. How fun! It also takes care of Sephiroth's defences. The North Crater is open, so we swing for the fences. His mother's transformed into a grotesque creature. We manage to kill it, and then the main feature. We steal ourselves for the climactic fight. Seph has morphed himself into a horrific sight. It takes our best offence, but it's finally done. But Sephiroth lives and wants Cloud one on one. Cloud musters his last strength, he'll give it a bash. And finally kill him with a huge Omni Slash. The story is perfect, and I have to be blunt. Why'd you change it for the remake, you c-